Okay guys, this video is on how to install a trailer jack. Um, here you'll see the components that come with it. You have two brackets, four bolts, and the necessary nuts, lock washers, and washers. And the trailer jack itself. This one here I got from a guy on Craigslist for about 20 bucks. That had converted his to electronic. I had extended the uh, tongue on this trailer um, because the boat was a little need to be moved forward a little bit and the axle balance was really good so um, this is just a simple video on how to bolt this thing together uh, it's not really difficult to do it does come with instructions when you buy them new but sometimes people like to see things done themselves so I'm gonna show you real quick all you need is a three-quarter inch socket a three-quarter inch wrench and the stuff that comes in the kit so bear with me I don't have a tripod but this can show you how to do it <coughs> easiest way set your bolts up near where you're going to go uh, get some nuts and washers up where you're going to go I like my trailer jack a little bit closer to the boat um, just because I like to get my boat up a little bit higher when it's sitting because I don't have a garage as you can see and water needs to run out the back of the boat. Um, get your brackets over here. Have them here. And you grab your trailer jack. Simply all you do is you line up the holes and you figure the spacing on these. Uh, this is a 3x3 three three, um, but this will work for many other combinations with the multiple holes. Um, I figured to space it out evenly would be use the second hole and the second hole. You need to put the bolt side on the trailer side, trailer jack side, because this thing will swing when it's in place and you don't want the nuts and the heads to be in the way. So go ahead and set one up. Throw easily by holding it up there, this on, throw a washer, a lock washer, and a nut on. Don't do it too tight because you got to still move this thing around. Do the bottom one and line it up with the appropriate hole. Same deal. Washer first, lock washer, then nut. Some people might want to put something like a Loctite on this. Um, this boat is still in rehab stage, so this is just a uh, temporary fit of where it's going to go. You can move it around still since your bolts are loose. Just to check and see where the distances are and whatnot. You don't want this hitting anything. Grab your second bracket. Washer. Lock washer. Nuts. I know this is a very simplistic video, but, you know, I figured I'd share. That way I can work out my tricks for YouTube as I go along. Same deal. Washer. Lock washer. Nut. And remember, you can always move this if you don't like where it is. <coughs> Grab your ratchet. Start to spin them on. You want to tighten these evenly, so get them taut. Don't wrench them down all the way. Uh, the tension itself might hold this on, but you want to kind of straighten these out and make them look less cut up. And go ahead and start to tighten them down. 
where they're nice and even. And once they start to spin, you can use your ratchet on the other or your wrench on the other side to hold it tight while you tighten these. Spin in there, throw my wrench on the other side. Just once these get taut, they're not going to move. And pretty much there you have it. Um, I would suggest tightening them down after driving a little bit. And you see, there it is. Show you a view from the other side. <coughs> Just bolted them on. Simple Sally. This is not a difficult process. Pretty much anyone can do this with your common hand tools. And locks in. And that's that. Watch my other videos, guys. Thanks.